truth is out there. Trust no one. I want to believe. What do you want to believe? Everything is connected. There are no coincidences. This is the church, and here is the steeple. Open the doors, and here are the sheeple. Sometimes insanity is the only sane response to an insane society. Remember, remember the 1st of October. Who is Luther Blissett? <laughs>
Shipwreck. That's right. So don't believe everything you see on the internet. Or you'll wind up being one of those conspiracy theorists who doesn't realize that they're part of a conspiracy to use conspiracy theorists to spread disinformation. Now we know. And, and knowing is half the, the battle. battle. We are constantly manipulated by a steady stream of disinformation and fake news. Disinformation looks like real information but it is designed to manipulate your emotions rather than inform you. Fake news looks like real news, but it is not based on reality. Fake news and disinformation are designed to manipulate your emotions in the same way that a magic trick manipulates your perception. Watch. Here's a coin. Now you see it. Now you don't. Who are the real adversaries? The corporations and tech firms and billionaires. The unelected power brokers accountable to no one. The 1% who control over 50% of the world's wealth. Who have purchased media companies to spread propaganda, disinformation, and fake news. So as to blur the line between fantasy and reality, and between truth and fiction who harvest our data from tech firms and sell it to consultants to manipulate voters and elections in exchange for more wealth and more power, who have bought our politicians and lawmakers, who have rewritten laws, regulations, and tax codes to make themselves richer and more powerful at the expense of everything and everyone else, and the politicians who make this possible by putting democracy and the environment up for sale to the highest bidder. While war may be used in place of conversation, words will always retain the ability to speak truth to power. And the truth is, there is something wrong with this world, isn't there? Billionaires are burning down the earth to make themselves just a little richer, and we should be angry. But rather than standing united against these threats to our democracies and our planet, we have been blinded by a hundred imaginary conspiracy theories and fantasy stories based no more on evidence than fairy tales of fire-breathing dragons. Yet around the globe, millions of people prefer these stories to reality. We are constantly manipulated by a steady stream of disinformation and fake news, which looks like real news and information but is not based on reality. Fake news and disinformation can manipulate your thoughts in a highly predictable way. Here are five cards. Just think of any one of those cards. Do you have one? I'll take one of those cards away. Did I get the one you're thinking of? must be magic. A democratic society is only as strong as the citizens which it represents and only as legitimate as the information with which those citizens are informed. Only an accurately informed and actively participating citizenry can create a strong democratic society which governs not according to fantasies, myths, and fairy tales, or disinformation and fake news and alternative facts, but according to science and evidence and out of concern for its people and all other life on the planet. The true conspiracy is the networks of disinformation and fake news which conceal the ever-increasing corporate subversion of democracy behind a fog of confusion, distrust, and fear. Conspiracy theories are the conspiracy. We live in a society, and when a society can no longer recognize the difference between news and fake news, or between information and disinformation. When slavery is freedom, when ignorance is knowledge, when fear is love, when two plus two equals five, when the public believes in everything and nothing, 
It doesn't take a weatherman to know which way the wind blows. Question your assumptions. Resist disinformation. Don't believe it. Don't spread it. Even if it tells you what you want to hear. When nothing is true and everything is possible, who will watch the watchmen? Will we become a world of useful idiots doing the will of our corporatized political overlords? I may be a crazy conspiracy dude, but is it crazy to imagine an alternative to the increasing corporatization of democracy? Is it crazy to imagine an alternative to the apocalypse? The truth is out there. The challenge is to believe it before it's too late. So remember, remember the 1st of October. And remember, conspiracy theories are the conspiracy. I am Luther Blissett. Goodbye and good luck.